hello and uh, welcome back so in this video we are going to first test our auth uh, strategy we have created okay for that what we did is we just created a dummy route like ping route and we are passing auth guard so this i'm doing just for testing of our auth guard i'm using auth guard gwt so whenever this particular route is published route is hit first what it what it will do it will check the user is logged in or not okay so it it can be just as simple like uh, i'm already logged in and i got the token so what i'm doing is when i'm whenever i'm hitting it i'm getting the hello world means this is allowed you to this is allowing you to go through this particular route okay here you can also do this dot request dot user okay so this is a testing of how we can uh, add a auth card and this is our auth card which we already have added earlier i was making one mistake i was i haven't added a injectable obviously this is going to be a service we are injecting a auth service here and accessing the validate user method here okay so this is one thing now what we did is we have created our order controller order services and everything now we can move to our product controller and product service and product module so if you just look at the model first so this is our order we were storing the the buyer for the order and then the product he is buying right now the product product schema is something like i am the seller i will be creating the product i will be updating i will be deleting and i can also see the product of any other user so i already if i know the user id of any other seller so i will just i will be just passing the owner id i mean the user id is the owner and i will be able to get the the list of products from that particular seller okay so for that we will create a order controller order schema is already sorry product schema is already there now we will create a product controller so product controller is also going to be the same so what i will do is i will just copy this and i will just change the things from here so instead of order we will have product dto okay do we have product dto no right so we will create this later we have product service which we will create after some time here you can just create a product service product service which you will inject and here we will have a different different methods which we will talk about create product will be a post method and here we will have annotation controller so i think we missed it controller and uh, the root will be the product we missed one thing which is this obviously without annotation how can we work it will be order so i mean i have i haven't added the order and product module in the root module otherwise we would have get we would have have received some kind of error but now we are fine we have this is the order controller this is my product controller all the routes on the product and i will be using the product service dot uh, create product get all my product right here i will be just calling create product i will be passing my id and order id okay so get product order product and here i can do a put and delete also this is delete this is put so here uh, update order here it will be delete order and i will be passing params and it will be just only id of type any think
it's only for a only okay now it is working okay now log the user information yes we might need create product dto we don't need this here the route will be id same for the delete update delete i mean you don't need to specify this forward slash this is delete this don't id and who will be able to delete it only seller i think we have created seller guard somewhere so we will use that okay we will create a seller guard what it will do is uh, it will just uh, try to it will just only allow seller to do all these operations in the next video so this is currently we just using auth guard here you can pass all the guard comma separated okay and in the controller we can also get this annotation so that we can capture the who is currently logged in user okay we already have it id id fine okay we just need to change this attribute to something else consider let's like, call it the product id because id and id both will conflict and let's call it as a product id here also we need to use a param product id of type any okay so this is little simplified now we just need to pass the id for put update and delete okay here we will be creating it so we will be passing the dto okay there will be one more method that will be http get what it will do it is it will also it will just give a product seller and uh, product uh, seller id so you want like uh, products of any other seller get product of seller yeah in this case you just pass the seller id and uh, we just need to check the guard that you should be seller to get the information about any other seller seller id here you will just write a method get products of other seller or something okay so we created a, our dummy service right now we just we just need to create a seller guard and we just need to restructure these routes a little bit this is just a sample code i have written product service dot get all my product because i am a seller and i'm you i am logged in so i already know that what is my id so i will be just getting all my product so it will be just a simple fetch call like uh, product model dot find by id and it will give all the information find by not find by id here i need to pass find by owner i mean find and i will just passing the id of owner okay that will come in the that will we will cover in the next video